And this was the view in downtown Dayton as the storms move through. Visibility lowered at times with torrential heavy rainfall, downpours. Probably not enough rain to help reduce the dry conditions and the drought we've been starting to face. But at least a nice cool down right now. Here's a look at la our current conditions in Dayton. It's 75 degrees right now. Humidity still on the high side as well as our dew point, uh, but that heat index right at 75 as well. The wind's still breezy out of the southwest at 15 miles per hour. That means our cold front hasn't quite made it just yet. So we're still tracking cooler temperatures overnight. The storms though beginning to track to the east of the Miami Valley. We are no longer under a severe weather risk. That's the good news. Still some of what we call stratiform rain, pretty much some light rainfall uh, to moderate steady rainfall moving through portions of uh, Champaign County now and through the city of Urbana. But we're starting to see the rain taper off to the west. Dark County is starting to dry out as well as Preble County and into Richmond, Indiana. We are still tracking that severe thunderstorm warning just to the east of Clinton County. Clinton County is no longer under that warning. These severe thunderstorms though did pack a punch for some uh, causing wind damage tree limbs down some trees uh, snapped um, at the bark at the the roots and so we are seeing several power outages because of these storms across dark county into miami county shelby county logan champaign county and particularly xenia was hit pretty hard a lot of trees down on the roads down there power outages as well so use caution if you do have to drive through the city of xenia especially this is is a flagpole that was snapped. You can see it right here. Um, thanks to Lori for sending this photo in. If you have storm damage, make sure you can send it to report it at WDTN.com or on my Facebook or Twitter page. Carly Smith WX WDTN. A look at temperatures right now. So much cooler. Isn't this a, a nice relief? At least 75 degrees in Dayton, 75 in Springfield, 74 degrees in Troy right now and 71 in Greenville. Lows tonight are going to stay in the 70s. We'll be about where we are right now. There may be a little bit of a warm up now that the rain is clearing out before we get down to these lows. We'll be in the upper 60s across our northern counties. A look at our highs tomorrow. A little bit cooler. Some relief staying in the 80s to the north. 86 degrees in Sydney, 88 in Troy, 89 degrees in Springfield. So we will still see our heat index value at least in the 90s. 91 degrees for our high in Dayton, 87 degrees in Eaton tomorrow. Notice your hour by hour forecast, partly cloudy skies. No thunderstorms expected in the Miami Valley tomorrow. Highs once again right around 90, 91 degrees. So we'll see 80s much of the day. Additionally, dew points are going to be a little bit lower tomorrow. We'll stay in the 60s. That will make it feel a little bit humid, but not too bad. We do start to see the miserable conditions returning on Tuesday, though. So a quick look at future track keeps those storms out of the area for the most part. There still may be an isolated shower or two overnight as that front moves through, but we stay dry for the most part. Monday, uh, the storms will stay to our south. Then as we look ahead to Tuesday, that's when we see our next risk of severe weather and severe thunderstorms. It's just a marginal risk right now. That's level one out of five on our severe weather outlook from the storm prediction center. A quick look at your storm team 27 day. We do see some temperatures in the 80s, so not quite as hot of a week, but still the heat is on.